So what is going on guys? I'm back here with another video. This time it's something completely different. We're playing Don't Starve. And this is the uh, the PS4 version. I've played this game a little bit on PC. And believe it or not, a little bit on mobile as well. I actually bought it on my phone a little bit ago. and It, it was alright, you know. It, was, it wasn't anything too special for me. I didn't really like the mobile. I don't play mobile games, but I have this bad habit of if I see one that's like a PC game that they ported into a mobile game, then I'll buy it. And it just it usually ends up being deleted, so... That goes nice, but I did play this a little bit, like a couple of hours on PC. I have never really got too far in anything past like five days, I think. And the goal of this, I believe, is just to survive as long as you can until you you die. I think I think that's literally all it is. You gotta, you know, gather these resources, gather, gotta build different things, and just get yourself a consistent source of food and. I, I mean, I guess that's pretty much it. I really don't know much about this game besides the fact that you gotta collect a lot of wood and saplings and food and you gotta, like, build campfires and stuff at night so that monsters don't kill you and there's a bunch of different weird monsters and you don't have a lot of health, I don't believe. And I know as you level up, you play... Or, I'm sorry, you unlock more characters. So I don't really know how this is gonna go. I don't know if this is gonna be one long episode or if this is gonna be... You know, something that I spread out into multiple videos, or if it's something that I will not survive in and just end up being a really, really short video. But we'll see how it goes. For now, we're just gonna gather some resources, get some trees. We built an axe. We can use to chop down trees, get some pine cones. I did play this once before. I survived like three days, I think. And yeah, that was it. I bought it last night, and I actually just didn't play it until a few hours ago. And. I mean, I guess three days is pretty decent, right? I didn't get, I didn't even level up or anything, but uh, it is what it is, right? You just gotta get used to the game a bit. So, you know, it was, it was an e a pretty easy experience. I just happened to get really um, aggressive with one of the mobs in here, and you can't be doing that, not unless you have a weapon, I think. I don't know, I've never built a weapon. I've built some really weak armor, but besides that, nothing really, you know, nothing really spectacular. So we found a carrot. Oh, there's a couple carrots here. That's good. I knew you could cook carrots, and I don't know if you could plant them or anything, but... But you could definitely cook them. Same thing with the berries and the seeds. The plants, I think you can... Yeah, I think you can eat them. Yeah, you can eat them. There you go. Perfect. But I know you can build, like, a uh, some clothing with them, so I'm going to go for that instead. I don't think it brings you any armor or anything, but... I mean... You get style points, right? And we're finding a lot of flint, which last time actually had trouble with and by a lot I only mean two wow I thought I, I thought I seen more but two is actually enough to get us a pickaxe well <sighs> or not or you could just build yourself another axe which you know isn't the worst thing in the world so you can see it's getting dark here if you can see up in the upper right hand corner there's big circle that's like a clock and you have a big yellow half that's the whole day then then the the red half is like or the red I guess fourth is kind of like a uh, like midday to evening and then obviously the blue is the night time when it's completely pitch black so around this time is when you really want to start looking forward to you know finding a place that you want to settle down in for the night you're gonna have to build a campfire maybe even just a torch if that's what you want to do but I usually just build a campfire cook the food that I find the previous day and just kind of live because you can see right there the darker it's getting you can see the little brain uh, logo right there. It's going down, which I think that's like your your sanity that it's going down because it's getting darker. You're you're kind of panicking. So I know there's, there's a few things that help you with that. I'm not really sure what it is quite yet. So hopefully we get to learn that here in this playthrough. And right above the the little brain, you can see a little stomach, which is actually your hunger. So of course it's um. The game is called Don't Starve. I'm just looking at the map here, which... You know, I don't know how big the map is. I've never explored the whole thing. I usually die before I do, but... You know, hopefully we can explore a good chunk of it here. And, you know, the game is called Don't Starve, so you gotta find food and will not starve. And also you got the little health icon right there, the little heart that, I, that actually goes up when you eat as well. So hopefully... You know, we just gotta keep it up. Hopefully it doesn't go down. I think if you starve, you'll it'll start going down. And then you'll die, obviously, but... I know you could get into different 
fights with like spiders and these weird pig looking things and and these random tentacles on the ground and there's just a lot of things that are here to kill you okay that's that's one thing about this game that they don't really mention because it's just it's called don't starve you think oh you know i came into this thinking oh a survival game you know i just gotta find some food gosh was it a rude awakening for me when i first got it on pc but now i was a little bit more familiar with the game i've put a few hours into it like i said and you know, I definitely am excited, and I am liking it a lot more here on the PS4. Uh, something about me, I really like playing on PC a lot, because, you know, the, obviously PC he has a bunch of technical things that are a lot better than a console would be, but, I don't know, something about playing keyboard and mouse isn't all that great to me. So let's build a campfire and build it right here. I panicked, I didn't really pay attention to anything. You could add some with the petals uh, you could cook the seeds which actually, actually I'm gonna do there actually I think I just ate them well I mean that wasn't what I wanted to do but you could add fuel with any wood any pretty much anything but usually the logs are the best thing and of course you know the more fuel the more light I think that's pretty much all you can get so I'm not gonna waste any more of that but let's go ahead and cook these uh, these yeah cook them I ate the other ones so you go you see cooked berries right there all right let's cook the carrots too might as well right they'll give us more more hunger. I'm pretty sure cooked food is going to give you a lot more nutrition and it's going to fill up your hunger bar a lot more. So let's eat these roasted berries. Get some of our hunger back up just a little bit, not too much. Actually, let's just go all the way. Screw it. There you go. And then these roasted carrots as well. You can't cook the pine cones, but you can plant them to plant trees, which is pretty cool. Let's just plant a couple here. Even oh, Okay. Well, never mind. So if you do put your campfire by any trees they will burn or anything made out of wood I guess or anything that you can burn it's gonna burn if you put it too close to the fire so I didn't think that went through but we're not gonna come back here anyway this is like a starting area we're gonna explore and hopefully find a lot better resources so there you go you can't pick up the campfire but we're just gonna keep going anyway and just I mean it's wood and I think that's all it is right just wood yeah wood and grass it's not like there are any rare resources so it does have an auto save system I think it saves after every night so if you start a day might as well you you're, if you stop playing during or die, well if you die the game ends and you have to restart from day one but if you stop playing during the game I'm pretty sure it'll it won't save I'm not really sure about that actually because there is a save and quit so that I might be completely wrong on that right, so let's build this pickaxe before I forget about it now there isn't really much I can do with it right now because it's to mine stone and stuff, but there isn't any boulders here or anything. Can I see any on the map? Uh, no, not really. You can see it's a really detailed map, so you can find the berry bushes and stuff, and the berries will regrow, I believe, so that's a really good thing. And there's usually a path that you can follow. The last time I followed that path, it led me somewhere bad, but that's because, you know, there's, a, there's a, a fork in the road, and I chose the wrong way, apparently. So let's go and let's keep going to the right because I think that's kind of where I want to go. I don't know. It just seems like a good place. So I'm going to stop. There you go. Some boulders right there. I was going to say I'm going to stop mining a few things here or the trees because we have a pretty decent amount of wood and we started. You can only stack up to 20 here, I believe. So yeah, there's only up to 20. So I got two stacks of wood. So that's going to take up inventory space and that's not really what I want to do because you don't have too much of that. Hopefully we can find some gold because you need gold to make a science machine and the science machine is going to give you more recipes here i'll show you the the crafting menu here of course this is locked you know you need to build a science machine and that'll you know these different things you can build through um a science machine this you could all build you can build as long as you have the the resources there but uh, here's some other stuff you could build So here's that, the um, the clothing that I was talking about, and I don't know if that's, it's like some type of hat, but it says soothe the nerves, so I don't know if it'll, I just wasted a lot of my data, that kind of sucks, but I don't know if it'll like soothe, if it'll prevent you from, from losing your sanity throughout the night, hopefully that does do that, because that seems like something that would be pretty helpful, but I do need to find gold, and I don't know really where to find it, I'm hoping that it's just kind of through the, the big boulders that we just saw there but if it's not then 
I mean, we're gonna have to go come through it eventually, right? This is a, br a pretty big, there's the road. It's a pretty big forest here. Okay, you know what? The last time I took the road, it took me to this type of area and I got killed by some type of tentacle thing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and mine this. Hopefully get a piece of gold. Oh, it's a sinkhole. I went through, I went down one of these ones. I'm gonna go one of the, down, down one of these again, just to show you guys. I really don't want to because it didn't go well. I got out alive, barely.